God himself. I have some Verkline trailing arms here. These are like the OEM style um, arms with metal bushings in there. I had bought these along with my subframe and everything else. And of course, like a week later, they came out with the new arms that they've been hyping up and talking about for months. And uh, you know, I couldn't just not get them. So I got them. They just got here. And uh, hopefully, well, hopefully by the time you're seeing this, these have already sold. But if not, I'll let you guys know. Um, these will be for sale. I'll drop the link down for these and these down in the description. But uh, it actually came really fast. I, I only bought them last week. And they already got here from Poland. So I'm pretty freaking hyped. Now with these arms here, I can finally tie up the rear end. Which will be the next video. I'll be able to install these and uh, give it like a base alignment, I guess you would say. It's basically just me eyeball, toe, and camber. Um, so when, when they sent me these originally, they had actually they forgot the little bushings for them. But uh, they said they were in here, so. Enough peanuts. Jeez. Oh, some big Berkline stickers. Definitely gonna be rocking those. Look at that, they got it in a whole envelope with the instructions. Very nice, that is quality right there. Oh yeah, cause these come with new new tops. So if you guys ever took your uh, trailing arms off, what your trailing arms connect to that actually bolt to the body, that's what this is. So we'll pull all this out real quick. And uh, woo, I'm gonna make a mess. Dogs are gonna love these peanuts. <laughs> Good old static here. Oh, yeah. I guess both the arms are there. Some bushings and bolts. Hopefully everything's in there. All right. To the front stuff. So, we'll do this first. I don't know what kind of plastic stuff they use with my crappy knife does not like. I am so excited for these. So, these arms are anti lift and anti squat. So, say like when you're launching the car and the car squats down a lot, you don't really want too much of that. And these arms you'll be able to set up and three different positions to negate um, such things from happening. And on the flip side, whenever you're hard braking into a corner or just hard braking in general, how your, your ass end lifts up, it'll prevent it from, from lifting. So they're anti-lift, anti-squat control arms or uh, trailing arms. Oh, okay. And here's the bracketry that uh, mounts it to the car. Very nice, very simple. New hardware and uh, for your brake line there. Heck yeah. So there's that. Let's get these bad boys open. Should really be using a back knife here. Alright. Should go get my dikes because damn it's just uh, Dude, they look so good. Yes. It's looking fast enough. Oh my God, people. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Holy crap. That is gorgeous. CNC'd. And here you can see like the different settings you can set it at. You got three different spots to set it at. And then, oh. Depending on where you put it out there, this has, see where that bolt is? There's three different spots, so you can do it accordingly. It's got another spot here for, I guess, your brake line or whatever goes around there. I don't remember offhand, but wow. That is super gorgeous. 
I am so hyped to put these in the car. This, along with the subframe and all the other arms I did, it's gonna be a huge game changer. Huge for drifting, or for drifting, for drag racing and for um, road course stuff. Like this, this is gonna be crazy. I cannot wait to get this car running again. Oh, they cannot come soon enough. Man, man oh man. God, these are so gorgeous. Shout out to Verkline. They make some dope stuff. I'll get some close-ups here for you guys. Just a moment. Let me see what they threw in the box here for me. Which should just be... I don't even know. Oh! Got another lanyard. What up? And hopefully the bushings for the other arms. Which is exactly what it is. Got these for those to sell, and uh, nice, very, very nice. All right, y'all. Here's a closer look. What I was saying here, you got the different positions. If it'll focus, focus. Now you can see the plus 40, 20, and neutral. Got that. This is the old arm. You can see you don't have multiple mounting points. It just is what it is with the uh, metal bushing in there. And then this uses a smaller, just everything's just so gorgeous, so gorgeous. So you match up, see it says zero, 20, and 40. Depending on where the position you have for this is where you change on this. Just super nice. Look at that, look at how nice that is. It's so smooth. So dope. I cannot wait to actually be able to Get up on a car and run these. It's gonna be so nice. Man. So these arms, like I said, are for sale. Uh, I think they're like 380 new, plus shipping, plus import fees. So, I'm gonna sell them for like 350. Man, man oh man. And I said I'll drop the links down below, but Lord have mercy. These are gorgeous. Yeah, let's take a look at these instructions. Sent me another lanyard. Some big old stickers. This is like super nice. Let's see what all we got in here. Oh man, I got a whole bunch of stickers. Is these stickers? Yeah, they're stickers. Wow. All right. That's dope. Um, you don't need to see that. Let's see here. I've already read through all this. I downloaded the PDF and went over everything, but it tells you where to put See the zeros OEM. Uh, when wishbone in a car and used plus setup, green line is corrected and back to factory settings. If car wishbone is used plus 40, it will make suspension move even less, thus resulting in faster response of the car from standstill or when exiting the corner. Also, when there is less suspension movement, camber and toe are less affected. Better predictability of the car. It gives you all the torque values. Exactly how to install the things. Table of contents shows you everything. Where everything goes, how everything works. They're legit. Legit, legit. So awesome. How cool is that? I cannot wait. Man! Definitely going to be rocking some of these big boys. Right on. Heck yeah. Well, hopefully this video wasn't too short, but man, I am so excited to run these. Holy crap, this car is going to be so much different now. The carbon hatch should be showing up here in the next couple of weeks as well. I'm just so excited. I am so freaking excited. This next season with this car is going to be just freaking amazing. And I uh, can't wait. Man, I need to weigh these two, weigh these against these other arms, see what they weigh. Feel... Actually, they do feel lighter. They do. We'll see. We'll see. Man. All right. That's all I got. If this video was in 10 minutes, I'm going to drop some racing clips at the end. Hope you guys liked it. Drop a thumbs up. Like I said, next video will be installing this, getting the car, uh, you know, makeshift alignment. And uh, my boy won't stop bothering me to play ball. So I'm going to go take these dogs on the walk. But, uh, 
yeah. Thanks for watching. Drop thumbs up. I'll catch you guys on the flip flop.